Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good morning, guys. Thank you for joining me here in Dallas, Texas, as we talk about Expedition Bigfoot. I'm impressed, Bryce and Russell. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Thanks, thanks for, for having, having us. us. All right, I'm going to start with you, Bryce, just because B comes before R. That's the only reason, okay? Yeah. Tell me about Expedition Bigfoot. Yeah, so we really wanted to set ourselves apart from other expeditions that have been done in the past. And how we did that was by using a complex algorithm that sort of told us where Bigfoot was going to be and just when he was going to be there. And uh, so that gave us a, a hot zone, as we like to call it, that uh, pointed out a place in central Oregon. And it gave us about a three-week window of opportunity to find conclusive evidence of Bigfoot. Okay, you're, you're, um, uh, Russell, can you tell me your take on the show? It was a journey. It's definitely a, a, just an amazing journey. Sitting in the same spot for three weeks and just doing meticulous research throughout the, the vast wilderness that we had to go through was just amazing. And the evidence that we came up with, uh, that we found, that we just stumbled upon, that we did not anticipate, was just so much better than we could have predicted. You know, Bryce, there's been a hundred, over 100,000 sightings, reporting of Bigfoot. Is this real or is this just good television? You know, it's, it's going to be both for our show right. on the Travel Channel. And, and what's great about it is, uh, like Russ said, you know, we were really hoping to get one or two pieces of evidence, but we found much more than that. And when you put it all together, it really creates a composite picture that tells us this creature is real and it inhabits the woods of the Pacific Northwest. Yeah. As you guys take this journey, what changes about you or do you remain the same after going after a myth? That's a great question. I, I am a flesh and blood, strictly flesh and blood. But I was forced to face things that I did not understand. And I think as the viewer, you're going to be surprised with some of the things that, that we find that is just absolutely unexplainable. So there was changes, I think, in everybody. All, all of us changed. Yeah, all four team members really had to go through a, uh, a, a, a period of uh, getting comfortable with the type of evidence that we were coming across. So we're, no we're extremely excited for your viewers to uh, witness for themselves uh, some of these stranger aspects of Bigfootery. Yeah. That's right. You do have a team of four. Uh, I think you have Dr. Mayer and yes. uh, uh, Ronnie LeBlanc also, too, are part of the team. So you've got four, four um, I'm going to say, four robust guys out in the elements and, and, and going after this, this I want to call it a myth, to verify this for us. How do you get along as a team? Like a family. <laughs> it's it, it. I couldn't have asked for a better group to work with. I I absolutely love the team that we have. We're very very cohesive. Um, we understand each other very very well. And if I'm not strong in an area, I will pass it off to the one that that I know is is in their wheelhouse. So it's it's very cohesive. Yeah, and you know, uh, we, we're three robust guys and uh, and one amazing woman. Her name is Dr. Maria Mayer, and uh, she's a primatologist and anthropologist, so she really brought a boots-on-the-ground scientific objectivity to our investigation. So it's not just Bigfoot researchers. Uh, it, it was her and her background that brought the scientific community along with us, and exactly. we were extremely grateful and, uh, and lucky to have someone like her on our expedition. Agreed. You know, all over America there are um, uh, debates about Bigfoot, whether it's real, whether it's perceived, or whatever, whatever. What is my audience, you think, going to take away from seeing you guys once again do this? Yeah, that's a great question. I think this is going to be a show for skeptics and believers alike. And and by the end of uh, by the end of eight eight viewing episodes, you're really gonna you're really gonna have to question your uh, your beliefs because we move the ball forward on this Bigfoot topic uh, like no other expedition has done in the past. So. Uh, you will have to be confronted with uh, with your own belief system. All right. So when you guys want us to watch and start having our own debates, because I can see those debates going on in home. Oh, definitely. December 8th, Sunday night, uh, 10 o'clock Eastern time. and 9, Nine Central. Central, yeah. Find us on Travel Channel and Travel Channel Go. I wish you guys the best of luck. Stay safe out there as you bring us the truth, and we'll be following you. Thank Elder, you. thank you Appreciate for having it. us. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. 
I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of the Valder Beebe Show. I have used Credit Help USA, the credit restoration company that's bonded and state certified. When you become a client of Credit Help USA, you become eligible for a set of stainless steel cookware from Credit Help USA and the Valder BB Show. Get your credit straight today. Visit credithelptx.com, click on the Valder BB Show icon, and get started living life divinely. (music) 